I hope you all had a Merry Christmas yesterday. And not that any of you asked, but oh, St. Nicholas gave me a Christmas gift that only I can use and use to the fullest. And that's a new credential for my illustrious resume where I teach the young minds how to not be stupid on social media. And today I'm going to use that new credential so that I can educate you all on how to not be stupid on social media. And that credential is relationship guru. Because as much as a lot of single people out there want to listen to other single people on how to end up into a relationship even though that concept never makes sense i as a single and desperate 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 human being will throw my hat in the ring and teach you all some relationship advice we all know that there are people out there who want you to use their correct pronouns and all the words necessary for what they identify as that's not my problem because you are breaking the law by discriminating me the eyes of the law has already told me that if you see me as a boy and I identify as a woman, you are therefore being transphobic and doing an act of violence because doxing to someone who's trans and targeting their gender identity and on top of that, trying to, trying to get me taken away with certain things that aren't even true and slandering me, you realise that is, I could so do you for this and I am doing you for this. I, it's a promise, it's not a threat. This is not even a threat at this point. You have threatened me so- But what happens when that said specific type of person interacts with what they describe as a straight cis male and they all of a sudden want that straight cis male to change the structure of their life all because they themselves have a vagina? Hey, so we're having a real debate right here. I am non-binary. I am a non-binary woman. I have a vagina owner. And my husband tells me consistently that he is a cis man that likes vagina. And that's how he identifies, as a straight cis man. I find it offensive that my husband sees himself as straight when he's married to someone who is non-binary. I'm not a woman, so you're not straight. You're actually queer. And he won't acknowledge that. He won't give me the acceptance of, yes, I understand we are a queer marriage and I am inherently queer because I am attracted to all vagina owners, not just girls. He likes non-binary spectrum women, non-binary people, no gender, that have a vagina. He just likes vagina. He just does not like penis. So what he's saying is kind of an insult to the LGBT community, honestly. It is to me that he's not willing to accept our marriage is queer because I'm non-binary and I'm pansexual, he would inherently be pansexual. Am I wrong? Because he likes anyone, not based on genitalia, but he likes them for who they are in the heart. And he likes vagina owners. So what is he? And is this offensive? In what world in which we constantly have people who are demanding that their pronouns and identity are respected, are we now disrespecting people and what they identify as? That individual loves you very much for who you are. They put up with you and you are willing to risk it and put it all on the line because you are too insecure to realize that that man is straight, cis, and proud of himself. How could you be so intolerant, ignorant, bigoted, and hateful? towards someone who is living their truth, living their life, and being happy with the life that they choose to live. It is weird how you can be someone so proud to get on social media and make yourself look stupid by trying to act as if someone else is in the wrong for you being too insecure and not realizing that what you're saying makes you look like you have cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for a brain and not really considerate of your own relationship. I am going to be someone who is on the outside looking in and I'm going 
going to say, you probably have a nice structure going on in your relationship. You hope to be married. You want to live a happy life with this person who you have had coitus with oh so many times. Naughty, naughty. But how can you sit there and run to social media and think that people are going to agree with you with this weird ideology type of concept you have in your mind where you want someone else to change their whole structure of life and what they identify as all because you can't handle the fact that they like that sweet puss and they might know where that clearance is even though most men think it doesn't exist it is stupid for you to go about that concept and if you actually pursue that more and more you might run the risk of losing your relationship and then maybe depending on how you choose to act cry about how it's all bigoted and hateful because no one wanted to capitulate to you demanding that they change their identity so that you could feel better about yourself i know i look up right now it's because i've been sobbing I was just talking with customer support with my bank. I was calling about some bank stuff. The lady like was super nice. So she called me Mr. Carter, which is, I mean, like my voice is deep, I get it. I was like, oh, actually it's Miss Carter. And she's like, oh, sorry. And then she just proceeded to call me Carter. <laughs> but she kept saying, sir, and it is accidental and she'd correct herself. But at some point during the call, I just started sobbing because like, you know, the, the dysphoria has been a lot lately. I feel so bad because she, she heard me sobbing and she's like, I'm so sorry. I know how it feels, sir. I mean, ma'am, God. <laughs> I don't blame her at all. <laughs> I would like to know, did I do a good job giving dating advice? I know I'm single and I'm a desperate, 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 some bitch, but I think I filled the role quite well of a relationship guru. Rate me on a scale of one to 10 in the comment section down below. It is almost the end of the year and we gotta go out with a bang. There will be more stupid. There will be more concepts to think about. There will be more things to laugh about. And yes, the pink hat is still here, even though a lot of you think I got rid of it. Let me know what you think think about this entire topic in the comments down below is it wise to demand that someone else change their identity to benefit you or are you a little bit of a normal human being that wouldn't think of that dumbass concept subscribe to the channel i will see you all in the next one goodbye